My name is Mahina Maeda. What's your name? Yeah, uh, um, what? <laughs> My name is Finnegan Thunders McGill. Glenn Pang. My name is Joshua Muniz. My name is Eric Arakawa. Mike Madison. Shaper, glasser, sander, paintboards. Master of none. <laughs> Jack of all. <laughs> I've known Mahina since she was really little. I think I made her some boards like a long time ago. Started building boards since you were 10? It's a Grom. Dave Riddle actually contacted us and said he had like a couple of hot kids like Finn and Dax. He wanted to help out with some boards. So we actually uh, brought them onto our team and kind of just grew from there. Pretty easy because it's like just working with someone I've known since she was a little kid. And You always have to have a good relationship with your shaper because he's making your equipment and you really want him to know what you like and what you don't like. And so he can make the right board for you. I remember the first time I had to call him to order my board. The phone call was a blur because I was just so nervous. But I remember just hanging up, just being happy, like, oh, that was done with. I just want to get my Who boards and surf on it. <laughs> Josh, who? Oh, I know your dad. <laughs> yeah. If anything, I try to choose surfers that surf similar to my style, which is, I mean, I'm a pretty heavy guy and pretty power-based but at the same time, I can be really light-footed too. Working with uh, Chris Blutart for about, let's see, about five, six years, and he's been really good as far as, you know, what he wants, tail designs, rockers, just boards in general. Like, he's really good with his dimensions and stuff, so he's a great kid to work with. He's really got a lot of talent and a lot of tricks, and it's just, you know, a matter of him focusing and putting it all together in the future, so. Things have changed competitively over the last Probably 10 years. I mean, there's so much involved. I mean, you just can't do everything. Communication's key. It's key in every relationship, whether it's a surfer, a shaper, a marriage, or anything else, a friendship. Feedback from Finn is, you know, probably the most important thing. It's probably what's going to give you a great board instead of a good board. So the more feedback I get from Finn is probably going to help us make him a better board for sure. Trust is the most important quality because, I mean, you're going on big, giant waves, sometimes pulling into giant laid barrels and stuff, and you gotta trust your shaper for them to make a good board so you can make that drop and make that barrel. <laughs> My part is just making sure, like listening to what she has to say, and also she has like different people that she works with, like coaches and stuff that also give me feedback. Like I got a call from Jill Santeo yesterday, yeah. like, hey, I wanna to talk to you about some boards for Mahina, you know? So use that feedback to get her better boards and let her work better. And when I finally first found the model I liked, it was a GX, and I, we kind of, we stuck on that for like a bit too long probably. Yeah. I just like the fact that it went fast down the line and I could do an air reverse since I, I learned how to do airs and that's all I cared about. Right now it seems like we're on a pretty good roll and so we're just kind of like just camping out right there within that, that design and just um, seeing if we can enhance certain characteristics. It's a constant battle not to just be satisfied with the status quo and then what we're doing. So we're just trying to push. So we're working on some things, some new construction. So you don't even know it right now, actually. <laughs> but um, I've got some materials coming and we're going to be building a demo board, uh, your dims. So we've actually already, we talked about it this week. So surprise. <laughs> anyway.